This is the Palmetto Ford Truck World Sports Desk. Come in, you'll get the best total deal on the new Ford F-150 and Super Duty. It was a beautiful day for some baseball, and it was the 2019 Region 8 5A champs for Dorchester taking on the five-time South Carolina State champ Somerville in North Charleston. For our high school baseball action, the Patriots hosting the Wave Donovan Acerbi on the strikeout for the Patriots, but Somerville would turn things up fast as Owen Wellman grounds one out to center field, and that would be enough to bring Cole Messina home for the Wave. Then, later on, Aiden Hunter is going to connect and that one is going deep all the way to the fence and Somerville. They're going to add some runs in with that one. Maddox Webb will make his way to home plate. Then he'll reach home, show off the hair and he's giving me a run for my money. The Wave punched their ticket to the playoffs with the 9-0 win over Fort Dorchester. We head on out to SunTrust Park where the Braves are taking on the Cubs. Danzy Swatson with the home run and the Braves take the lead at the bottom of the third. He would finish with two homers tonight, but the Cubs didn't make it easy. Tie ball game at the bottom of the fifth and Freddie Freeman delivers this bomb to deep right field with the three run homer to take the lead. The Braves would be able to hold it down as Atlanta takes it 8-7. They'll face off again for game two tomorrow at 7-20. And the Carolina Hurricanes taking on the Dallas Stars. The Canes need one point to clinch a playoff spot. Stars jump out to an early 2-0 lead. Second period action. Check out the pass. Then Max McCormick bats one out mid-air, and the Canes finally get their first goal. Under four minutes to go in the second, and this time Jacob Slavin heading left makes his move, and he scores. Third period, Canes down one. Under four minutes to go, Yanni Hockenpah fires one off into the back of the net to tie it up. What a goal, but the Canes would fall in overtime 4-3. But they did get that one point, so they clinched their spot in the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs. North Charleston High School has officially named their new head men's basketball coach, and they didn't have to look too far, and they did that for a special reason. They wanted someone that not only knew the community, but someone who, who also knew the students at North Charleston High. The Cougars officially named Tony Eady the head men's basketball coach. Not only is he a North Charleston alum, but he was the head men's basketball coach for 16 years before, and he actually accepted the assistant athletic director position just three weeks ago, and later he found himself coaching yet again. And when we were looking for a coach the last couple of years, North Charleston's been doing pretty well. The boys went to the lowest state championship last year. The girls won the state championship a year before last. So, you know, then COVID hit. So, um, you know, it took a very very deep dip. You know, a lot of kids go to other schools. They go to the surrounding schools and, and they live right around the corner from North Charleston High School. So they wanted to bring me in to try to bring those kids back to the school, man, and, and get them coming back to North Charleston High School. Our principal, Mr. Darby, is doing an outstanding job changing the curriculum, um, just trying to get kids back in, in the school. And a quick shout out to South Carolina men's basketball alum PJ Dowger for dropping buckets in his first NBA career start with the Denver Nuggets on Sunday. Dowger finished with a career high 23.7 rebounds and shot 76.9% from the field. And former Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence signed an endorsement deal with the cryptocurrency app Blockfolio just days before the NFL draft. He accepted his signing bonus exclusively in crypto, and apparently Bitcoin is up nearly 10% since he signed his deal. That's your look at sports. I'm Jasmine McCoy.